chimpanzees, bonobos, orangutans, and gorillas are the four great apes. These apes are mainly preyed on by big cats. In Asia, clouded leopards are known to kill young female orangutans, while tigers are even known to kill the adult male orangutans. In Africa, lions are also known to kill chimpanzees. But, among the big cats, leopards are the biggest natural threat to primates including great apes. Leopards are known to kill primates for millions of years. A 1.5 million year old skull cap of a Paranthropus robustus, one of the heavy jawed hominins which lived in prehistoric South Africa, was found with two neat puncture marks, caused by a leopard. In Africa, leopards are known to kill large primates like baboons, mandrels, bonobos, chimpanzees and even gorillas. Among great apes, chimpanzees are the main targets of leopards. Bonobo fingers were also found from leopard scats. Leopards hunt gorillas only on rare occasions. Here are some of the details, evidences, and reports of leopard predation on gorillas. Leopards and gorillas share their habitats in the forests of countries like Cameroon, Central African Republic, Gabon, Congo, and Equatorial Guinea. Majority of the predations are reported from Central African Republic, Gabon, and Congo. Leopards usually hunt gorillas at night. This is the time when gorillas sleep. So using stealth, leopards pounce on unsuspecting gorillas. Almost all the gorillas killed by leopards had a gash in their groin, along with deep wounds on their neck. Leopards bite at the groin region of gorillas to tear off their testicles, and severe large artery in the process. Fractures on ribs, skull, and spine, were also observed. At some occasions, leopards separate the limbs of the gorilla from the body, which they do on other primates too. Gorillas has a poor eyesight at night. They also don't have a loose skin which makes their body highly vulnerable to leopard bites and claw slashes. Leopards are also very good climbers, which allow them to follow gorillas that try to escape by climbing trees. Forest leopards are also known to hunt from trees. So, they may ambush unsuspecting gorillas that walk under these trees. Male leopards in these regions have a better muscular build too. Gorillas consist of about 8.8% of leopards diet in Gabon. Leopards are known to hunt both western and eastern gorillas. One of the largest gorillas a leopard killed was an adult male silverback that was four times the leopard's weight. Leopards are the apex predators of these rainforests. Unlike savanna leopards, these forest leopards hunt larger preys like okapis, bongos, and even forest buffaloes. There was even a report of a 10-month-old forest elephant killed by a leopard. When confronted by a leopard, gorillas produce a pungent musky scent known as fear odor. Lone male gorillas usually runs away when they are attacked by a leopard. They may even run non-stop for more than one kilometer to escape from leopards. But, a male silverback leader of a gorilla family will try to fight an attacking leopard to protect his family. This behavior is known as chutzpah. Western. Lowland gorilla females make nests arboreally at higher sites than silverbacks. This is done so that leopards will be forced to confront the adult male before they can reach other more vulnerable family members. Smaller vulnerable groups of western lowland gorillas, and gorilla groups that did not contain an adult male are also more likely to nest arboreally. The male silverbacks are more likely to nest closest to the largest trail than any other group member because in rainforests, large trails are the main pathways of movement for leopards. Rapid unified movements were also observed in mountain gorillas while crossing these open trails. The silverback is also more likely to be located at the back of the group while crossing these trails, potentially ensuring that all individuals, passed by safely. Crocodiles are the only other potential predator of an adult gorilla. 
pythons and eagles may try to hunt infant gorillas. Autopsy reports of the gorilla skeletal collection, at the Yale Peabody Museum of Natural History, showed that three of the gorilla skeletons had signs of predation from leopard. When autopsy was done on the skeletal remains of an adult male gorilla, found from Gabon in 1874, there were clear signs of predation from leopard. There were fractures on the sixth and seventh vertebrates and their spinous projections were also broken. Leopard bite marks were present on the right pelvic bone. The jaw was broken, and minor fractures were present on the skull. Ribs were also broken and, splintered at the ends. Broken vertebrates indicates that the leopard killed the gorilla by biting on its neck, while bite marks on the pelvic bone indicates that the leopard tried to bite at the groin region of the gorilla to tear off its testicles. An adult female gorilla skeleton, found in 1878, had carnivore damages on its skeleton. There were several bite marks on its left scapula. All these damages happened during the time of its death. Carnivore damages were present on the juvenile male gorilla skeleton, found from Gabon in 1875. Several parts of the jaw were missing, and the remaining jaw parts had splintering damages caused by a carnivore. Two toes of an adult gorilla was present in a leopard scat, collected by ecologist Michael Fay, from Central African Republic in 1987. In the book, Up Among the Mountain Gorillas, the author Walter Baumgartel, gives a report of a black leopard that killed four members of a gorilla family. On February 14, 1961, an adult male silverback gorilla of a gorilla family, was found dead on the slope of Mount Muhavaro of Birunga Mountains. The gorilla had severe wounds in the neck, along with a gash in its right groin. The leopard attacked the silverback while he was sleeping in his nest. Both the leopard and gorilla rolled down a slope during the hunt. The body of the gorilla was taken to the Makiri Re Medical School for an autopsy. Three days later, they found a half-eaten corpse of a young female gorilla of the same gorilla family. Medical reports said that this gorilla also had a gash in the groin with several wounds on the neck similar to her father. Over a period of several months, Two more members of the same gorilla family was killed by the black leopard. Famous biologist George Schaller also describes about the same incident in his book, The Mountain Gorilla Ecology and Behavior. The 2006 Howells Award-winning book, Man the Hunted? also give details about the same incident. In the article, Social Structure and Life History Pattern in Western Gorillas, gorilla researcher Martha Robbins gives reports of two silverbacks and one blackback killed by leopard in 2004. Reports of a subadult female and a two-week-old baby gorilla killed by leopard is given in the article, Non-Human Predator Interactions with Great Apes in Africa. Biologist George Schaller, in his 2011 study, of making a last-stand counter-attack and chutzpah, living primates, gives a report of a leopard and a silverback gorilla died from mutually inflicted wounds. In the article, Leopard attack on and consumption of gorillas in the Central African Republic, Michael Fay, gives a report of a leopard that attacked a blackback and a silverback gorilla on the same night. 
In the book Congrilla, the author Martin Johnson gives a report of two leopards that attacked a gorilla family. In 2003, primatologist Chloe Cipolletta gave a report of a silverback that was severely injured by a leopard. A female gorilla injured by a leopard was also reported from Bay Hoku. In the article, Leopard's Pursuit of a Lone Lowland Gorilla, Watson gave a report of a leopard which chased a gorilla in Central African Republic. In the 1960s, leopard predation had a huge pressure on mountain gorilla population. In the Virunga Mountains, gorilla population reduced to one family with two members at that time. But now, mountain gorillas does not face any threat from leopards. But, certain families from western lowland gorillas still face predation from leopard. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.